When you see the name, iconic 1966, you know the place. Such a staple in the community while I was growing up. That's why when the Politos family announced that after 57 years, this is everybody's place. It's iconic Tex-Mex chain. Okay, yes, it's going to be four. One more, okay, yeah. Politos would close. Devastated. Fort Worth restaurateur Gigi Howell lined up at the original location, along with hundreds of loyal customers for one last meal at the Fort Worth staple. We both thought this just, this can't happen. That day, she and the Westland group vowed to save it. We don't want people to lose out on what was Polito's. Months later, the purchase of five locations is on. There's a lot of uh, plumbing going on in there, but we do have uh, the kitchens kind of coming together in there. A revival is happening. It's still Polito's. It's still going to be Polito's. But nowhere near ready. In about a month, the original location on Polito Street will reopen. We're going to show it the love it deserves. The outside got a paint touch up. We're very proud of our new awning here. A lot of the same employees will return. And the biggest question people have. Um, same food? Same food, absolutely. Just the family opened the restaurant in the 60s. It started with Papa Polito feeding his co-workers at the nearby rail yard. One of the changes is meant to honor the family's history. So the new bar will be named Papa Polito's Rail Yard Bar. The old family pictures will stay. And I hope that, that we can make everybody proud, especially the family. Beyond a reopening, it's a promise to the community to honor the legacy the Polito's family built. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalba.